Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested integral using beta function and two other important identities, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to pi over two, dx over i to root of tangent of dx. We'll be using beta function to evaluate this. So let me just rewrite this integral as integral from zero to pi over two. And then we have dx. And then tangent is sine over cosine. And then i, the root, is to have the exponent of 1 over i. So rewriting this denominator as sine of x over cosine of x. Entire thing to the power of 1 over i. So this has to be just the same as integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then dx that over sine of x to the power of 1 over i. That divided by cosine of x to the power of 1 over i. And we'll be using this i is the same as negative 1 over i. We can just make sure if you multiply i on both sides, that has just a negative 1. So that's why using i is the same as negative 1 over i. We can rewrite this integral as integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then we have dx still over sine of the x to the power of, now then, negative i. That over cosine of x to the power of negative i. It's the same one. Then your integral has to be just the same as integral from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, then we still have dx. And then your denominator has to be cosine of the x to the power of just the i over sine of the x to the power of the i. So that is why we can just rewrite this as now integral from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, then let's get the reciprocal of it. It has to be the same as then sine of the x to the power of the i. That time, since cosine x to the power of i is on your denominator, we can multiply cosine of the x to the power of negative i. Then we have dx. This has to be the integral we should be working on. Okay, here's the tool for the beta function. So the beta of m and n, that is gamma of m times gamma of n over gamma of m plus n, that could be represented as 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine theta to the power of 2m minus 1 times cosine theta to the power of 2n minus 1 d theta. Where the real part of m is greater than 0, also same for the n. Okay, so using this, let's look at our integral. So our integral has to be the same as we do not have 2 outside of the integral. So that's why we can rewrite this integral i as 2 times 1 over 2 times integral of from 0 to pi over 2. That of sine x to the power of the i times cosine of x to the power of negative i. And then we have dx. Okay, so talking about this formula, so 2m minus 1, that is the i. So 2m minus 1 is the i. That means 2m is i plus 1. So we can say your m has to be 1 plus i over 2. And then for this 2n minus 1, 2n minus 1 has to be the negative i, right? So 2n minus 1 is negative i. That says 2n has to be 1 minus i. So your n is 1 minus i over 2. So it turns out m and n are complex conjugate. So what you're working on has to be then 1 over 2 times 2 times integral of everything. So that's why integral i has to be the same as then uh, 1 over 2 times beta of m was 1 plus i over 2. N was 1 minus i over 2. This is what we are working on. And since m and n are complex conjugate, let me just call this, say, w as 1 plus i over 2. Okay, then complex conjugate has to be 1 minus i over 2. Okay, so using this, we can represent this as now 1 over 2 times, okay, so gamma of w times gamma of complex conjugate, that divided by gamma of, now if you add them up, right, it is 2 over 2, that is equal to 1. Gamma of 1 is equal to just the 1. 
So we are working on just gamma of W times gamma of conjugate of N over 2. And then we'll be using how complex conjugate of the gamma of the Z. This is the same as gamma of complex conjugate of the Z. We'll be using this. So that's why what we are working on has to be the same as 1 over 2 times modulus square, which has to be the real number. And as a last step, the identity we'll be using is this. Modulus square of gamma of 1 over 2 times mi, that is pi over cosh of m times pi. In our case, your m has to be just 1 over 2, right? So the answer for this integral is simply pi over cosh of 1 over 2 pi. But then again, we had 1 over 2 that is multiplied to it. So we can just multiply 1 over 2 to it. So this has to be just the same as pi over 2 times cosh of pi over 2. This has to be the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer-suggested integral using beta function. How amazing.